With the Celtics losing one of the best point guards in the NBA this offseason in Kyrie Irving, along with Terry Rozier who was their backup point guard, the Celtics were in desperate need of a new player to fill that starting role and did so in acquiring Kemba Walker. Although Kemba isn't as good of a player as Kyrie is, he's the best replacement that you're going to come across and he's still going to give them hope for the playoffs and possible title contention for the near future. But in this video, we're not going to be talking about Kemba Walker, we're going to go ahead and go over a guy who I think could end up being the biggest steal of this year's draft and could be a key component to the Celtics offense off the bench going into next season. Carson Edwards is a 6 foot 1 point guard out of Purdue that the Celtics drafted in the second round with the 33rd overall pick. Now for anybody that has watched college basketball, you know about Carson Edwards. He led the Big Ten in scoring with 24 points per game along with 3 assists and 4 rebounds on really good efficiency shooting 40% from the 3 point line which is very good for a point guard. During their actual season he was obviously a beast but during the NCAA tournament he turned into something that I have never seen before. He was averaging 34 points per game and had two separate games where he dropped 42 points so coming out of college it's hard to think why a guy who can score the ball so well fell to the second round. I think some of it had to do with his relatively small height but him being over 200 pounds that sort of makes up for it on the defensive end along with his ability to attack the passing lanes. It's also very hard to set screens on him and he's one of those guys that is just a complete pest on defense. Now fast forward to this year's summer league is really when the Carson Edwards hype really started to heat up when he was dropping 19 points on 54% shooting through 3 games. If you told me this guy was a rookie I almost wouldn't believe you because a lot of players going into the summer league in the past do not play super well but this guy was just pulling up from 3 with no hesitation and you could just tell by his play that he had a lot of confidence. Over the duration of the summer league he shot 31 threes and made 15 of them which is about 48%. Even though that was a small sample size, it's easy to tell that this guy can shoot the ball. And honestly, he can just do about everything on the offensive end. He's quick and shifty so he can get to the basket. He can pass the ball, he can shoot contested threes, and for one thing we saw about him in college was his range. In the summer league, we saw multiple times him pulling up from a few steps behind the three-point line. He also recently signed his rookie deal with the Boston Celtics for four years, $4.5 million, so he's definitely going to be there to stay in the long run as he develops as a player. And for him to be in a system in Boston with Brad Stevens as the head coach, we have seen point guards in the past have a ton of success in that Celtics system. Just look at a guy like Isaiah Thomas, who was only 5 foot 7 inches tall and averaged 30 points per game. He actually ended up being top 3 in MVP voting that year and Brad did a very good job at hiding him on the defensive end and maximizing what he was good at offensively. And I know the relationship between Kyrie and the Boston Celtics didn't really end up working out but he had one of the best years of his career statistically so I really think it's going to end up being the same exact way for Carson Edwards. And for the Celtics who want to be competing for a championship at all times, you need a guy like Carson Edwards to come off the bench and be sort of a spark plug for that second unit. A guy I sort of compare him to and I've seen other people say he's similar to is Fred Van Fleet. Just in the way he was able to contribute during the season and obviously during the Raptors NBA Finals run. In my opinion, I think Carson Edwards ceiling is way higher than Van Vliet but I think for now that's the role that Carson Edwards needs to fill in order to help his team succeed moving forward because obviously as a rookie on the team and a second round draft pick, you can't expect too much of him as he is still a developing player. I really think that the 76ers are going to end up regretting trading him to Boston because I think this guy has the possibility to be an all-star in this league, especially after all he has shown during his three years at Purdue and his summer league performance. I think this dude is definitely going to end up being a steal and definitely should not have gone in the second round. Obviously Summer League doesn't hold a ton of weight, it's not the end all be all but it gives the players the ability to show what they're capable of and allows them to prove themselves and I think he's going to be able to get some consistent minutes off the bench come next season. But that wraps up the video on why I think Carson Edwards will be the biggest steal of this draft. Be sure to leave a like, I'm curious to also hear what you guys think the future holds for Carson Edwards. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and with all that being said, I'm out. Peace.